Hi guys and welcome to the third video of the Sanjay series. If you're watching this series from the beginning, we have discussed what are public folders and public folder mailboxes. We discussed how public folder mailboxes hierarchy is designed, how public folder mailboxes hierarchy is replicated to secondary public folder mailboxes. I have shown you how we can create public folders and public folder mailboxes from Exchange Admin Center. We discussed how to access public folders within Outlook clients, how to add public folders in favorites within Outlook client, and how to create a folder within a public folder from Outlook client. In this particular video, I will be showing you how we can manage public folders and public folder mailboxes using PowerShell commands. I will be showing you how we can create public folders and public folder mailboxes and how you can check the attributes of public folders and how we can verify all the changes. Before we manage public folders from PowerShell, we need to make sure that we are connected to Exchange Online module. Once you are connected to Exchange Online module, after that, you will be able to manage public folders and public folder mailboxes from PowerShell. As of now, I'm connected to Exchange Online module that can be verified by running any PowerShell command, which is for Exchange Online. So get-mailbox is giving me output. That means I'm connected to Exchange Online module. If you want to check what public folders or public folder mailboxes you have in your organization, you can run get hyphen public folder hyphen recurse. If you do not use recurse, and if you run get hyphen public folder, this command will not give you the details about the public folders that you have in your organization. Recurse switch is used if you want to get the output of the public folders and the child public folders. So if I use hyphen recurse and press enter, this command will give me all the details of what public folders we have within the organization. It will show you the root folder. And this will show you the child public folder as well. So PF3 is the root folder. PF1 is inside PF3 and PF2 public folder is inside PF1. So this is the child public folder of this, and this is the child public folder of PF3. So this is hierarchy of your public folders. This is called hierarchy. If you want to check what public folder mailboxes you have in your organization, for that you can run get hyphen mailbox hyphen public folder, press enter. This will give you the details of what public folder mailboxes you have within your exchange organization. If you want to check a particular public folder, for that you can run get hyphen public folder hyphen identity. Within identity, you need to give the path of the public folder. For example, if the public folder is a root folder, it's a root public folder, then you need to mention slash. It denotes the root public folder. After that, you need to specify, you need to mention the name of the public folder. For example, PF1. Press enter. If you want to check all the attributes, you can type pipe FL and press enter. This way you can retrieve all the attributes of a particular public folder. If you do not use slash or if you do not tell PowerShell that this is the root folder, it will not give you any results because it will not be able to find PF1. This is not the way you search public folders in PowerShell. If you want to search public folders in PowerShell, you need to mention if this is a root folder or this is a child folder, for example, like this. So if we want to check public folder details, then we run get hyphen public folder hyphen identity. And then we will type the name of the public folder and if this is a root folder or this is a child folder and then pipe FL. So here you can check all the attributes of a particular public folder. Identity will show the name of the public folder. You can see the path 
this indicates that this is a root folder content mailbox name is the secondary public folder mailbox which contains the contents of the public folder similarly you will see mailbox owner id mailbox owner id is the primary public folder mailbox which stores the writable copy of public folder hierarchy so mailbox owner id is the primary public folder mailbox and the content mailbox name is secondary public folder mailbox name if you want to create a public folder from powershell then command will be new hyphen public folder hyphen name and then you can mention the public folder name and press enter so this command will create a public folder with name pf8 this public folder will be a root public folder if i run get hyphen public folder hyphen recurse here we can see pf8 is a root public folder because when we created this public folder we didn't mention that we want to create a child public folder so by default this was created as a root public folder if you want to create a child public folder for that you can run new hyphen public folder hyphen name pf9 and then we will mention path path will be where we want to create this particular public folder pf9 so for example we can mention slash let's say we want to create pf9 inside pf8 so path will be pf8 press enter so now if i run get hyphen public folder hyphen recurse here we can see pf9 is created inside pf8 so pf9 is the child public folder of pf8 so now this is my hierarchy of the public folders similarly if you want to create another public folder inside pf9 for that you can run new hyphen public folder hyphen name pf10 hyphen path and within path we will mention slash pf8 slash pf9 so now we are going to create pf10 public folder inside pf9 which is a child public folder of pf8 press enter now let's check the hierarchy so here we can see pf10 is created inside pf9 and pf9 is a child public folder of pf8 so pf10 is the child public folder of pf9 and pf9 is the child public folder of pf8 so this way you can create the public folders or child public folders now let's check the properties of public folder 10 or pf10 get hyphen public folder hyphen identity within identity if you want to check the attributes of pf10 then we will mention pf8 slash pf9 slash pf10 pipe fl so this way we can check the properties of a child public folder in the first session of this series we discussed that public folder mailbox is of two types primary public folder mailbox and secondary public folder mailbox primary public folder mailbox contains a writable copy of public folders hierarchy and the secondary public folder mailbox contains the contents of the public folders and the read only copy of public folders hierarchy now you must be thinking that how we can find which public folder is the primary public folder mailbox and which one is secondary public folder mailbox so to check this we can run get hyphen public folder hyphen identity and we will look for two attributes select hyphen object and the attributes are mailbox 
ऑनर आईडी एंड कंटेंट मेलबॉक्स नेम प्रेस एंटर सो द कंटेंट मेलबॉक्स नेम एट्रीब्यूट शोज द सेकेंडरी पब्लिक फोल्डर मेल बॉक्स यूर द कंटेंट ऑफ द पब्लिक फोल्डर आर सेव एंड मेल बॉक्स ऑनर आई डी एट्रीब्यूट कंटेन्स द नेम ऑफ द प्राइमरी पब्लिक फोल्डर मेल बॉक्स वेयर द पब्लिक फोल्डर हर आर की इज स्टोर्ड वन यू क्रिएट अ पब्लिक फोल्डर बाय डिफॉल्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर पब्लिक फोल्डर विल बी क्रिएटेड विद इन सेकेंडरी पब्लिक फोल्डर मेल बॉक्स However, if you want to change this behavior, if you want to create a public folder within a particular or any other public folder mailbox, for that you can run new hyphen public folder hyphen name and then you will use a switch hyphen mailbox. Within mailbox, you will tell this PowerShell in which public folder mailbox you need to create this public folder pf12 so here we can mention public folder or pf mailbox 1 which is the primary public folder and press enter so this pf12 public folder is created within pf mailbox 1 which is the primary public folder mailbox now how you will verify this you can run get hyphen public folder hyphen identity pf12 because this is the root folder so we have to use slash and then we will look for attribute which is content mailbox name press enter so here you can see that pf mailbox 1 is the primary public folder mailbox where this public folder is created so always remember that content mailbox name will hold the name of the public folder mailbox which contains the contents of the public folders or which is the secondary public folder mailbox by default it will give you the name of the secondary public folder mailbox until and unless you have specified within hyphen mailbox switch and mailbox owner id attribute will contain the name of the primary public folder mailbox which contains the writable copy of public folder hierarchy if you want to create a new public folder mailbox for that command is new hyphen mailbox hyphen public folder and here you need to mention a name for this public folder mailbox for example pf mailbox 3 press enter this command will create a new public folder mailbox with name pf mailbox 3 within your exchange organization if you want to check what public folder mailboxes you have within your organization you can run get hyphen mailbox hyphen public folder press enter this command will list all the public folder mailboxes but if you want to check the attributes of a particular public folder mailbox for that you can run get hyphen mailbox hyphen public folder and then you will mention the name of the public folder for example pf mailbox 1 pipe fl press enter so this command will give you the attributes of a particular public folder mailbox in the next video i will be discussing what are the various public folder permissions that can be assigned to the users and then i will be showing you how we can assign public folder permissions from exchange admin center and using powershell commands so if you have learned something new from this particular video please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel and guys if you have any questions suggestions or feedback related to the videos that i'm posting please write in comments thank you guys thank you for your time take care